Hey guys, welcome to KTM Eats. So for testing the performance of those emulator, I set the same setting on those emulator. I set it 4GB RAM and 4 cores and also set the resolution to 1080p. So let the compression begin. At first, we'll see the task input lag by playing color switch game. Because it is very important if you play games like COC or other online games. Both of them are not as fast as phone, but I think Nox is little faster. Not too much, but little faster. Now let's see how Instagram works. Um, I think both of them are working nicely. And there is no lag. And it's working smoothly. So in this case, both of them are same. So let's see the tilt performance. As we all know that some games don't work without accelerometer. So Let's see the tilt performance. As we can see that only Bluestar can support tilt, but the Nox is not supporting this. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but the accelerometer is not working on Nox. And if you want to run Aspal Extreme on those simulator, then it might get some problem. As you can see, I'm getting some problems running Aspal Extreme. I can't enter my S, that's why I'm not able to play this game. But I think it's it's a resolution problem. I don't know, maybe I am using 10 p resolution, that's why it's making problem, or don't know why, but I think it will make problems. Both of those simulators can run Need for Speed No Limit nicely, but as you can notice that Bluestack getting more graphics than Nox. In Bluestack you can see rain and many effects, but on Nox you can see those graphics, and the performance is slightly better on Bluestack. So in this case, uh, for Need for Speed No Limit, I think Blue Strike is definitely the winner. Both of those simulators got some problem with the Asphalt Nitro. As you can see, both are lagging too much and the Nox got some really big problem. As you can see, the minimap is covering the full skin. The minimap is covering the full skin and we can see the skin nicely. And there is no problem running traffic radar on both of the simulator. They are running traffic radar very nicely and smoothly. I think there is no lag and I'm using the high setting on both of those simulator and it's pretty fun. And if you want to play FPS games on those simulator, then no problem. Because I am running the Loba Legacy on those simulator. And it's working very nicely. But I think there is some problem with the Nox. The sensibility of the Nox is too high and sometimes it makes some problem. Sometimes it goes out of the skin and there is some problem. But the key mapping on both those simulator are very great and with those key mapping you can play this game very nicely. Um, I really nice license kit and the uh, performance is also very good. And the multitasking performance of those simulators are same. Both of those simulators are king of multitasking. And they got the very good RAM management system so you don't need to worry about them. And both of the simulators are using KitKat. So I think this is the end of this video. I think you have understand which simulator is good for you. Um, but I did not feel any major changes both of the simulator and the Bluestack is really nice. The Bluestack 3 is really nice for gaming especially. But the Nox is also very nice if you play multiplayer games. I would recommend you to use both of those simulator and Feel the real performance by yourself because only a video can judge you which simulator is good for you. So it would be much better if you use both of those simulator and see yourself which is best for you. So thanks for watching. See you later on next time.